Hey, uh, what's up, guys? Oxy here. And, um, yeah, this is episode two of, um, the basics to editing. Um, if you didn't see episode one, go watch episode one. I'm basically doing this just for my two IRL friends who, uh, want to learn how to editing. And, uh, everything I do in this series is based off what they want me to do. So I'm not saying that these will necessarily look good. I'm just showing them ways to use different effects efficiently and uh, make them look decent. Um, so this is what I'm be doing in this tutorial. Um, basically CC Tyler and all that stuff with optics compensation for a transition. So um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so basically for CC Tyler, find where you want, find where your guy shoots, and um, buy go f like go to f um, layer, new layer, adjustment layer, or whatnot, and uh, search it up. You should have it. It's under distortion. Um. All right, where your guy shoots. Hold on, first, I'll c include this in the description. I'll upload it or something. Uh, it's basically the backwards intervention sounds what everyone uses on their CC Tyler. Um, find where he shoots and match up the the end of the backwards intervention to the beginning of the shot, and um, that's basically where you're gonna sync your CC Tyler to. So um, find where you want your CC Tyler to start, which is obviously has to be somewhere like in the sound, or else it's not gonna look good. I usually start in a little bit farther, um, just because the beginning sound is qu more quiet. So, um, on this, keyframe it where you want it to start going outwards, which is like right here for me, and go out like that far. Leave a little bit of space um, before you shoot because you want it to go out really slow or like slow and you want to go in really fast and have it back to normal by the time it shoots so leave a little bit of space and um, bring this down to like 50 and then go forward to where he shoots right here and bring it back up to 100 so basically it's just gonna go out pretty pretty like slower really slow and then it's gonna go in really fast like that and um I might as well add the regular intervention sound um I'll include this one in the description too um just match that up perfectly with that and um alright another thing you can do for CC Tyler that doesn't look as good as it should like right now but find where the CC Tyler starts and uh, go on the original clip or a composition and click P so this position drop down thing comes down and click the little stopwatch and find where he shoots right there and click the diamond thing to cre create another keyframe and um, hold control and click the keyframe so they're both highlighted and this will become available to use if you don't have this it's under window and it's called wiggler and you're only going to be able to use it if you uh, do this, if you have both the uh, keyframes checked. Because it's that tells the wiggler where you want it to um, shake. And I just use 10 and 10 and like the default settings right here. And apply. And what that does, it's going to make it shake as it goes out. And um, I think it looks a lot better than just leaving it normal. Um, that's up to you though. I'm just showing what you could do. Um, another thing that I do is um I use CC lens on my when I do this effect um, just create another adjustment layer and throw in CC lens on it and find where the CC Tyler starts which is right here and uh, keyframe it and go out and find where he shoots and keyframe it at 160 and then move forward one frame and go back up to 500 and basically that will make it look like it's slowly going in like it's like stretching outwards I guess because if I pause it on hard to show you see how this part looks closer to you closer to you on the screen and like the middle part looks farther away like right here you can see it 
um, in my opinion, that looks better. And uh, and it like goes in with it, and then like snaps back to normal. I think that looks good. Um, that's what I usually do on my episodes or episodes that I edit that I use this effect on. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is exposure, which basically it's going to make it gradually get like lighter, and um, it, I think it goes well with the sound. So search it up; it'll be under color correction, and. Um, find where your CC Tyler starts again and for exposure it's gonna be under master for the exposure part keyframe it make sure you hit the little keyframe and go to where your guy shoots again this is all repetitive and bring it up to like two and then go one keyframe forward bring back down to zero so basically like to me this makes it look like it's charging up with the sound as the sound gets like louder the brightness gets like more bright I don't know, I think it looks good. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is the CC, or not the CC, the optics compensation. So find where your clips morph together. Mine is like right there. What I mean by morph is where they change. And make a new layer and search it. It'll be under distort. Um, make sure the reverse lens distortion is checked. And where the, fr where the next, like, clip starts which is right here move back 20 frames so count them 7 8 9 10 7 8 9 10 all right that's 20 and then hit the stopwatch and move forward 20 again 10 20 right there and then bring this up to 165 or so and then move 20 more frames. 10. 20. And bring it back down to zero. And uh, I ram preview this real quick. It's gonna go in, then it's gonna go out pretty fast. The more key frame, or the more like frames you put in between it, like say you were to key frame it at like 30 frames and then move forward 30. And then, like, do all that. Instead of using 20, you can do 30 frames. Uh, that's just going to make it so it's, like, it takes longer. Um, it's just up to you, though. Editing's all about your kind of style. It's not what other people do. It's just base it off what you like and what you think is good. Because, I don't know, being unique is, like, a huge thing. Huge key to being successful at editing. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. And uh, be sure to watch out for episode 3, and be sure to comment on this episode telling me what you guys what you guys want to see, because I'm going to be start making regular tutorials um, that isn't dedicated towards my friends so they can learn how to editing. I'm going to make a tutorial. I'm going to start making tutorials on just effects that people want me to show them how to use in um, my way and doing stuff and stuff and stuff like that. So um, yeah, make sure you comment, like subscribe all that shit I'm gonna go ahead and save this so I'm um, I have it for tutorial number three and um, yeah that's basically it peace guys